Now, with a renewed ceasefire push in the eight-month-old Gaza war stall, Israel bombarded central and southern areas again on Friday, killing at least 28 Palestinians. Well, through Friday, Gaza saw Israeli attacks from land, sea and air. Reports say that the Nuzareth camp in central Gaza was hit again the day after the Israeli strike on the United Nations-run school. Thousands of displaced Palestinians were sheltering at the Al-Sardi school, which is linked to the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees, when it came under attack. The second attack on an UNRWA school in just two days. The Israeli raid came after the military announced a new ground and air assault in several refugee camps in central Gaza. In yet another Israeli assault, an air attack on a home in the Sheikh Radwan neighborhood in northern Gaza has killed at least four people and injured 14 Palestinians. <laughs> We were sitting in our homes and we heard the sound of a missile being fired from a drone. Then another missile hit as it was fired from an F-16 fighter jet. So when we checked, we found women and children in pieces. A month after rumbling into Rafah in what Israel said was an assault to wipe out Hamas's last combat units, tank-led forces have advanced to the southwest fringes of the city that lie alongside Gaza Strip's border with Egypt. As Israel's offensive continues in the area, many Palestinians in Rafah packed up what was left of their belongings and took down their makeshift tents, forcing them once again to flee the city of Rafah. Meanwhile, on the diplomatic front, top American diplomat Antony Blinken is heading back to West Asia in hopes of going forward with Israel and Hamas militants to accept a ceasefire agreement, which is designed to halt the fighting. Not only that, it also, ha it also considers releasing hostages and getting more humanitarian aid into the war-torn Gaza Strip. Well, there's some hope for moves to provide much-needed aid into Gaza. The U.S. military-built pier has been reconnected to the beach after it broke apart in storms and rough seas. The U.S. Central Command said that food and other supplies will begin to flow soon into the war-torn territory. In Israel-occupied West Bank, Palestinians clashed with settlers in Burak, a village east of West Bank's Ramallah. Similar clashes erupted simultaneously in the village of Bethin, east of the city.